Sonny Hostin's argument invites a degree of skepticism, presenting itself as emblematic of the sensationalist portrayal of natural occurrences to advance particular narratives, such as that of climate change. We've got a solar eclipse. Uh, we've got ran down the hallway. Ran down the hallway. The and rapture then, is here. The rapture's here. And then also I learned that the cicadas are coming. Cicadas. Cicadas. Oh, I love for the, the first time in cicada, like cicada. No, no, 100 no, no, years. No, 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 no. no, no. Two That's, different, no, two, no well, they, this is what I read. Two different there's times. two are, different kinds of cicadas. Yes, two different times, times are coming. The good cicadas but, and the bad cicadas. But no. for the first time <laughs> in, in many, many years. No, seven, so, every 17 years this happens. Well, that's not what I read, but maybe, <laughs> but, you know, maybe well, you know better. I, but in I a way. I say all those, all those things together would maybe lead one to believe that, you know, either climate change exists that's or, more or something is returning. That's quite some not at the mercy. It appears to strive towards inducing public apprehension and unease by linking disparate incidents like solar eclipses, earthquakes, and cicadas under a singular causative umbrella. The interpretation arises that Sonny Hostin's emphasis on climate change reflects a broader inclination to prioritize fear over evidence-based discourse within both the media and society, fostering polarization and discord. In grappling with intricate issues like climate change, it underscores the significance of fostering critical inquiry, skepticism, and reliance on empirical evidence, while cautioning against hasty conclusions drawn from coincidental events.